Lumos. Hi, I'm Gita Lovegood, and this is my series, Port Keys Inside and Out. Today I'm going to be trying to record the Gryffindor common room. I think the wind is a bit too loud, so this might just be a voiceover. We'll see. <laughs> this is also one of the harder port keys to jump out of because it has the boot placed almost directly in the center of the perimeter. So I'm having to run out of it at an angle and five times out of six, I'm not getting out. I'm gonna try something different because my phone can handle it. I'm gonna try Ooh, brag. throwing my phone. <laughs> So maybe it can get through faster than I can run. You're just gonna throw it? I'm gonna throw it. <laughs> Three, one, two. <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> All right, my amazing boyfriend did the running got me through, we're in the park key. But yeah, just a heads up, if you try to do one like that, it's gonna be really hard to get out. He's got really long legs, he's very tall. <laughs> okay, I can see everything so clearly. I love this, okay. So we've got some wizards here playing some wizard chess in this painting. <sighs> got some tables chairs, cups to drink, and you know there's got to be a radio in Gryffindor's common room. I've done this one before, so I can already tell you there are multiple radios. <laughs> All right, got another painting up here. The walls are covered in this like really cool tapestry. Um, it looks like it's got griffins all over it, which I think is such a nice touch since Gryffindor's mascot is not actually a griffin. Over here we've got some dormitories. These, I believe, are the girls because Percy says that when you enter in through the fat lady, the boys' dormitories are up the stairs on your left, the girls are the same on your right. This is the staircase that's on the right side. portraits and it looks like this is like a curved wall that's very interesting very tower feeling and then there's the boys staircase let's go through the girls staircase really quick all right so they obviously don't let you see through
this is just another random window. And then this is going to be the portrait hole where you go through the fat lady's portrait. shots everybody loves. of Alvis Dumbledore or Hogwarts of History. Got some nice logs over here to toss on the fire. And then these are obviously the seats that the trio is always trying to sit in over by the fire. Those do look like super, super warm spots to sit in this particular common room. Be my spot, the one with the footrest. And I just realized I was still holding it sideways, so um, we'll see how that turns out in post. Oh, I'm so glad I did this this late. Yes, I'm freezing, but I was able to actually see things, which is so worth it. I'm still very mad at myself because I was honestly not able to see things too well for the Slytherin common room. So I'm going to make sure that that does not happen anymore. I think the golden hour and this hour, like right after sunset is perfect for being able to see things really well. That paired with this, this really blocks out any extra light that is trying to come through. So I'm definitely very happy about that. <sighs> All right, make sure to go check out my other port key videos. If you haven't, you can click up here for the Hufflepuff one, and you can click up here for the Ravenclaw one. All right, that's all for now. Until next time, you know what to do. Make sure to use your magic wisely and keep an eye out for Dementors. Protego Totalum.